Freakiness is a part of life. Original Baramang along with the two bad, bad, wicked, wicked youths of rap. the business talk paper when i'm riding by they know it's drizzle he the truth off the east side i know who ain't got my money because they ducking high i grind for me and mines i got the green light i got to get it how i live it that means front line i got the zips i got that soft i got that hard white i got that green i got where sometimes i i listen to you guys and you're so well read and you, you're so uh interested in study and i just feel like you're wasting your time talking about all these old things that happened in the Middle East that <clears throat> doesn't have anything to do with the modern day. And there's so much stuff that's been repressed. I don't well, know, what, what do you think about that? Trevi, I would say it has everything to do with the modern day. The morality that we use to judge the world and all the politics that happen in America today are based on Greek philosophy and on Christian history. So if we don't know what we're talking about and where it comes from, then how are we going to how are we going to justify or unjustify certain things like the topic of abortion well, or transgenderism? You know, transgenderism well, comes from Greek yeah. philosophy. So how are we going to deal with that if we don't know well, what it is? Because the world is bigger than like Greece and the Middle East. Like it's not, though, we have a because lot. everybody, everybody in the world follows their philosophy, whether whether you like Greeks or not the entire Western world is just filled with Greek philosophy. You can't, everything, the even philosophy. the way you're talking now has its root in Greek philosophy. I mean, everything is, I don't like it, but that's how it is. So I try to point it out. Okay. Yeah. I understand that. Um, but yeah, like you talk about Nietzsche and stuff like you can't even really understand Nietzsche unless you, uh, understand the Greek philosophy. Cause that's sort of the, like, you know, the conversation within philosophy kind of started with Greek. <clears throat> but everything, what do you think? everything, dude, communism, uh, small hat, socialism in Germany, all this stuff comes from a form of philosophy. Like it's not just like these dudes are born in a vacuum. They, they all base it on stuff that was already revealed with Aristotle, Socrates and Plato. Go ahead. What was your question? What do you think about how uh, the early Christians uh, would literally like, you know, I'm from Northwestern Europe. I'm American, but I'm like, you know, Scots, Irish and Nordic. Cool. Um, yeah. I mean, basically what I've come to understand is like, if, <laughs> if you didn't get baptized, they'll kill your kid in front of you and murder your entire family. If you didn't, where get did baptized you, back where did you learn that? Where's that from? Oh, he left. Uh, uh, now he's you dead. Know, it's self-evident. I, I don't, <laughs> I think it's begging the question. Where, where did you learn that from, the killing of children if they're not baptized? Yeah, I mean, if you, from a pagan perspective, you start uh, realizing that that's literally what happened. They, they, whenever they talk about um, idols, like, basically people would make uh, idols of their ancestors. And then whenever okay. they would have dinner and stuff, they would have a little sculpture of their grandfather. Well, you know, the Christians came in and destroyed all that. And so, and so basically they cut us off from our, you know, I know I, I started to sound like we was kings and shit. I know. I know, but no, I get it. Yeah. Ancestor cry. Uh, no, I was just going to say, like, I understand what you're saying. You say, oh, it's a loss of culture, but it's not just Northwestern Europe. I mean, the first Christians were mainly hanging around in the Mediterranean. They burned a lot of the Egyptian relics to ash because it was paganism. So I they just don't know all the pagan stuff. Why yeah, are just, they so uh, like? Let me wait, wait. So let me ask you a question. Why is it that all these pagan guys, you, Adam Green, are always like Northwestern Europeans? You would think it would be Greeks and Egyptians who were mad about the Christians burning all their stuff, but instead, okay. Let me ask guys, you this: What does what does Greece look like? What does Greece look like? I mean, what? they don't have much Greece? of an economy. So that's after five hundred years of of Ottoman servitude. I mean, what does that have to okay. do with Christianity? That's real. That's it has real to history. Do with all those countries are not doing well economically. Yeah, like, because you know they were like Ottoman are, countries like, for five hundred years, dude. Any place where the Anglo-Saxons went on the planet is thriving. You know what I'm saying? No, right, but they, Greek. but they were, we speak, dude. They were. We Protestants. speak English, which is a Germanic language, bro. You're speaking English, dude. They were Protestants. So they weren't atheists or pagans, though. The British Empire, right? So 
What's your point? Well, the Church of England was pretty Catholic, and that's why we had to come to America because we were bring, being oppressed by the Christians. Right. So those guys who came to America that? were hardcore Puritans. You know that, right? Like they did the Law of Moses and stuff. Like they weren't pagans. They hated paganism. The Puritans. So they came to this country to get away from Rome because they thought the Roman Catholics were pagans. So they came to this country so they they could LARP as hookers. Because they killed everybody that wouldn't fucking convert to Christianity, bro. They but the ones who came the here, idols, but the Puritans who came here, dude, spirituality. they were. But all your ancestors who came here were Puritans, man. Puritans. You're talking about Martin Luther and the Germans. No, I'm not talking about Martin Luther. The, you think <laughs> that everyone Luther, that came dude. over was a Puritan, bro? Are you most of them? No, most That's of them the were the Christians who were. Most of the Christians who came over were either Puritans or another form of Protestantism. That's true. The okay, original well, Greece Americans. Greece is irrelevant. Rome Puritans, is irrelevant. Quakers, you, Anglicans. How are they irrelevant? You brought them up. You're like, dude, let's talk about Greece. Oh, Greece is irrelevant. No, you, all you talk about is Greece, bro. That's no, your don't. whole thing. It's okay, like, oh, are you aware like everything that, are you came aware, from Plato. Are you aware that yeah, Plotinus of course the was Christians, Egyptian? Yeah, are you aware They don't have Plotinus anything of Egyptian, own, bro. Dude. dude I'm telling you, everything you believe, even the way you're mad at me for Christians destroying paganism, is an appeal to universal morality. Bingo. No, you, can, you're platonic. you cannot destroy paganism. It's self-evident. It requires oh. belief in nothing. Well, so is porn. Porn is self-evident, too. I mean, like, <laughs> this is, what are you even saying? Porn I mean, Yeah, like, you're saying nothing. You're just saying something exists, so it's self-evident. How's that an argument? You're begging the question. Okay. A lot of belief. And a lot of like hope and oh please take my my sins oh my god like dude you say little kids have sins bro like how do they have bro? sins wait wait let's make sure you understand what that even means how do kids have sins what's your understanding of that what does it mean well uh you know like uh, original sin like okay that's not having sins you know that right you original sin sex and shit like this uh, 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 no no that's impute that's impunity guilt that's 100 percent latin theology the orthodox church doesn't follow that so what's your next argument well my next argument is, is look at how the rest of the world is outbreeding us because we're so christianized that like we're not breeding yeah, dude. The, yeah, yeah, that the, has nothing the, to do with Christianity. The, Imperial Russia had a yeah, birth rate of over eight before you the communist revolution. America, bro. Yeah, but you now you're Puritan. now you're flip flopping from just Puritans to all Christians. You do realize the people with the highest birth rates are Christian Africans. So, what's your argument? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what's your argument? Like they're Christians true. though. Nigeria, like that's a Christian, half Christian country, half Muslim. Nigeria, bro. Listen, to all the places you're talking about. Do you realize Greece doesn't even have an economy anymore? Dude, Greece is a hellhole because it was under Ottoman servitude for 500 years, and then it was under German EU servitude in the modern day. I'm going to well, kick you off. This is irrelevant now. We got someone else who wants to come in. Welcome, Fresh Pel Pelmeni. How are you doing? Not too bad, Gene. How are you today? I'm doing good. Nice mic quality. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a, that's a recurring joke, actually. <laughs> My <laughs> terrible mic quality. 